You can call on your brother when you need a hand. We all need somebody to lead on. I might have a question. Oh, will you understand? We all need somebody to lead on. That was fun. That was so fun. <laughs> What is this? What song is this? Three, Three six, six nine. nine. Let me tell you about one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. Get low, get low. Oh. To the window, to the wall, to the wall. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Comfort Level Podcast. Oh. I'm Maddie, and I'm here with Brandon. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> She's back, baby. She is back. Oh, <laughs> it's been a okay. while. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna need for you. Yeah. <laughs> you and everything yeah. for you. I'm gonna oh, need for you to hear. She's like, hey, hey, yeah, right there, right there, Hit that right there. That's the- Wait, is this? Are we doing listener write-ins? This is the listener write-in episode! Oh, okay, wait, what exactly uh, is the... What is it called? Okay, yeah, break it down, sit here. This it's is the listener, listener write-in episode. episode. Yes! <laughs> What is the listener writer episode? So we have a we have a subreddit where people can just give us their own am I the asshole or relationship advice stories and they write that in and we can read it. Oh, so these are from like the viewers. These are from viewers that want viewers our like opinion. you. Okay, this so is great. This one is for you. <gasps> I'm even more excited Did that I like write these this? are like write-ins. This one is this one is what a fan talking about you. Oh, wait, Read what? It right now. Here's the title. I'm ready for my oh, feelings to be hurt. Here's the title. Here's the I'm title. Ready for it, yeah. Am I the asshole for thinking Sam should 100% lose the glasses? What? <laughs> what? Or at least get a different frame. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? This is what the fans I can't, think. I can't. This is what the fans Give think. Give the people what they want. Just show them without it. We did. That's why why they wrote it because I took my glasses off for and that episode. Like, what was the what? thing you did? Great googly moogly. <laughs> 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 it seems like the people want more. Actually, Sam, I rarely see you without your glasses. Take them off for reference. Let me. Take them off for the story. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, look directly into your camera. I see what. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your eyes open, maybe a little longer. Stop twitching him, maybe. Okay. <laughs> maybe stop with the uh, po- yeah. guys. Not he doesn't smile. He doesn't normally look give like this. Give him the eyes. Give him the eyes. This is how I look without my glasses. Give them the smolder. Give him the Zoolander smolder. Give him Alpha. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the light's so bright. <laughs> All right, you ready for the story, Sam? Yeah. I'm it's ready. not a story. It's He's a about to start comment. crying. I was not ready for it. But I'm ready. Okay, so am I the asshole for thinking Sam should 100% lose the glasses <laughs> or at least get a different frame? He looks so much better without his current oh. glasses. <laughs> With that said, I do believe he could be a better glasses person if he got a different frame. A frame that oh, wow. is updated and classy and still worked with his comfort aesthetic. Maybe a frame that doesn't actually hide how good looking he is. Sure. Oh, hey. <laughs> The, the, rest through the cyberspace. Though. <laughs> <laughs> the plastic looking glasses he's wearing reminds me a bit too much of a middle school girl and don't oh. seem the grown ass man that he is. That's what I'm going for as a middle school girl. So let's <laughs> no get shade, it. I yeah, promise. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, you said that? No shade? This? Yeah. Um, oh, did you say no shade? No shade, I promise. I just want what's best for him. That's the story. There's somebody that commented. But, oh my um, gosh. <laughs> Sam, how do you feel about this? So interesting thing about these glasses. When I went to get my glasses, this was a year ago, I was going to get the same frame. I'm like, I always get the black frames, like big black frames. I'm like, I'm going to try something different. And the I told her, she's like, well, try these clear ones. And I'm like, I put them on. I'm like, I love these. I freaked out. I'm like, these are the coolest glasses I've ever worn. I'm like, sign me up, put it on. I do now, like, 
the first year I was like, yes, I'm in. I am like at the point where I'm like, yeah, I need the glasses. So I'm like, I get the sentiment of this, but I love these. I love the clear glass. You guys don't like it. So maybe doesn't. clear, but just not the square, the big square. I always want to, actually, I really want to do like the old school schoolboy, like the I Jeffrey see Dahmer glasses. Oh, okay. oh, my glasses that I wear sometimes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I like Serial those. Serial killer glasses. Yeah. You have them? The circle ones, they're broken, which is why I'm wearing my contacts, but. I really want to get those. I think because I like my head's so big, ones. I want, I need bigger glasses because I have a big head. I can't wear. Yeah, I used you need to, thin frames. Yeah, I used to wear the like little oval things and my head's so big and it was like it just <laughs> popped on my head. <laughs> so like, circles. I need the glasses to be bigger. <laughs> well, um, guys, I just ordered some new glasses. So. Ooh. Oh. oh. What kind? Okay. What kind? What kind of I, I guess you're just going to have to wait and see. Oh, it's oh. a surprise. Okay. Whip, Actually, I really don't even know. Oh, she whips them out. <laughs> you know, but, okay, listen. Going to the eye doctor, it's it just seems like so much pressure it's because pressure. you're there and they expect you to choose some glasses right in that Immediately. moment. Immediately, and the person was standing right next to me and was like, "Well, which ones are which ones are you gonna get?" And I'm standing there like trying on all these different frames, and I'm just like, "Oh my god, I guess I, that one, that you one, can just leave. give me that one." I've left. You can leave. You can leave. I felt trapped. There was one that went on like 76 and Dodge, and I'm like, I don't like any of them. And I'm like, I'm gonna leave. And like, oh, we have another office. I'm like, sign me up an appointment next week because I'm not buying any here. Wow, you can leave. You can just leave. Wow. I wish I knew Leave that. next time. And they'll Try be like, wait. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we're kidding. We'll give you all the time you need. <laughs> <laughs> You're trapped here. We actually need to sell glasses. Yeah, my mom, she would always just make me arrive like 30 minutes early and she would sit down, like look at her phone. And then she'd be like, go pick out some glasses before your appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Mama G. That no, I don't like, like those. Mm, more, you don't know those. Don't no, those don't suit your face. That is so mom. Yeah, there's different. There's two different people. Who, like when you have someone go with you, and like they're involved. They're try. The, you would love these. Try these, and then the other people are like just like your mom. Like he was. He was it's involved. 50, 50. Yeah, he yeah. honestly was. He was actually pretty good. Like yeah. he was nice. But man, he was like, I tried on some that I kind of liked, like just a little bit. He yeah. was like, those don't fit your face. And I was like. That's a good one. Because they <laughs> if they only say positive things, I'm like, you're lying. I'm but like, oh like, my yeah, this God, is do I not know what my face needs for glass? It seems like an impossible decision. Like, How do you know. choose just one? <laughs> How do you do that? They don't want you to choose one. They want you to choose, they want so, you to choose two. Wait, is, is a better way to figure it out is like specifically picking an ugly one first and be like, what do you think of this? Yeah, one? that's and a good one. Like, and they were like, oh, it's so cute. You're like, I specifically, you these are liar. ugly. This was a trick. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was a test. It yeah. was a test and you and failed. You, you failed. I'll be leaving. You're not giving. <laughs> <laughs> You're not giving. Pay me my money back Thanks. for the, the whole exam thing, too, because I don't know if you look. We're truthful about that either. Could I really not see E? Yeah. Or did you just because I was saying random machine? letters and you were like, "Good." <laughs> huh? I could barely see that. <laughs> you let me through. Okay. Well, that's honestly on you, though. If you honesty is the best policy to get the best glasses prescription. They don't. They can't help you with that's that, true. but they can help you with glasses that. No, my sister did lie. Man. My sister lied because I had glasses and she wanted to get glasses. How do they do glasses for babies? We don't. Yeah, the young ones. Yeah, the little kitty. They give them yeah. goggles. They give them goggles. So but how I'm do like, they get their prescription? prescription? They can't be a prescription. They if they get, if they, some, the some same technology. Because it could ruin your eyes more as The a baby. same technology they use to get the prescription for babies, they can't use that for lying adults. I think they do the. So I think they do the sunglasses no. for like stigmatisms <laughs> or like if you have a lazy eye. I don't know if it's necessarily a prescription. <laughs> no, because they're rel they're relying on you for your prescription like that. Okay. First one or second one. Baby's like, ah! they don't know. They're like, they're. I think this what, is you. Is what's one or two? One? She said one or two, and honestly, one and two look the same. Very, they're the same. Well, which one do like, I say? It, what same. do I say? And she's like, no, you have to pick one. Just Three. Pick one. one of them is clear, and one's not. And you're like, if I pick Dude. the wrong answer, then I'll be blind. Right. <laughs> if it I pick the wrong so answer, loaded. I will be actually it blind. It felt so loaded. Yeah. It did. So comment. Yeah. What was the comment? Here's Let's the hear the comment. comment. Um, in my honest opinion, yes, you're the asshole. He should wear the glasses he feels comfortable in and the ones that he likes. I'm a person that wears glasses that everyone said I shouldn't with my face, which they've retracted since. And I will just say it's not your place and not your business. We're going to wear what we think slaps, even if it doesn't fit your aesthetic. Facts. True. 
That's rude. But I, I don't think they're the asshole because they were reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, they were. They you were can talk to me like off. that. You can say whatever you it's want. It's not like they was thirsting yeah, yeah, after Sam is single. <laughs> And he might take his glasses off for you. So mm-hmm. it sounds like they want to get a little sip of Because I don't always wear my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What? I don't always wear them. You dirty dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the boy, <laughs> boy is nearsighted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. If you're close enough, I can see all I need to. <laughs> but there's only one thing that I know. One thing I know, that's my cousin. <laughs> like our next star! You stole it. I was going to yeah. do that. I was going to do that exact line. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I read this story, and it actually seems really interesting, and I hope that we can help OP. Okay. Okay, here's the title. My female 22 first love, male 23, is my boyfriend's cousin, and I don't know what to do. Uh, wait. So her first love is her current boyfriend's cousin. Oh. <laughs> Messy. Oh. Dang. So you're dating a guy now. His cousin is your love of your first love. Your first love. When did she find that out? Dang, I feel bad for the boyfriend. I'm like, I thought <laughs> <laughs> What am I? <laughs> second I'm love, like, I'm okay obviously. with I'm okay with it you being the second love, but I should be the first one. You right? ain't the first. That's all I'm <laughs> We're dating. Uh, that's oh, gonna man. be tough. I need to hear. Oh, okay. No. okay. That's gonna be tough. My female 22, first love, male 23, is my boyfriend's male 23's cousin, and I don't know what to do. Hi, I first want to say I love this podcast so much, and I listen all the time. I finally have something interesting going on in my life, so I wanted to share it with you guys. In parentheses, she says, I love you, Sam. Okay. Oh, my God. Sam. Am I the third one? <laughs> <laughs> How many loves you got, girl? <laughs> Does she got enough to go around? Because I'm here for it. <laughs> Does she like his glasses? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, the that question. Question. that's the real question. That's the real question. I met my first love, Ethan, when I was a sophomore in high school. I had just moved to a completely new town and didn't know anyone. Ethan was good looking, smart, and extremely kind. I struggled in an AP class we took together, and he went out of his way to help me. He was the first boy to ever make me feel pretty and wanted. We began dating not long after we met. Our relationship was perfect. Not only was he an amazing boyfriend, but since he was well-known on campus, he introduced me to a lot of people I can still call my friends to this day. Mm. He was my first everything. Kiss, boyfriend. I lost my virginity to him. Mm. We dated until senior year when my mental health declined significantly. I began having suicidal thoughts and thought very low of myself. He tried to help me as much as he could, but I started pushing him away, resenting him. I broke up with him because I didn't want to hurt him anymore. He told me that he'd wait for me. He said that he believed that we were meant to be together Ooh. and that no matter what happens, we'll end up together. Oh. High school ended. He went off to college and we lost contact. I stayed with my parents and decided to go to our town's community college while working on myself mentally. Two years later, when I was 20, I moved out of state for university and met my new boyfriend, Noah. He's absolutely amazing and I love him so much. We've been together for two years now. This summer, he told me that his family from all over is coming to our state because his parents are hosting a family reunion. He invited me, and of course, I said yes because we're pretty serious, and I know his family is very important to him. So, oh, no. I don't like where this. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the family reunion. Last weekend, we went to his parents' estate for the reunion. When we got there, I immediately went to the bathroom. It was a long drive. I heard a knock on the door while I was in there. I assumed it was somebody who had to use the bathroom, so I hurried out. But when I opened the door, I saw him. him. Ethan. Oh. I was too stunned, to say the least. How cinematic is that? That's a movie. That's literally (laughs) a movie. That's a movie scene right there. (laughs) You literally write this to make this up. You can't. (laughs) We just sort of stared at each other. He told me that he thought he'd see me, and he had to be sure. To my surprise, I teared up. He asked what I was doing here, and I didn't want to tell him. How could I tell him? Luckily, my We're boyfriend's. Related. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. <laughs> Luckily, my mom's boyfriend found us and assumed I was lost and led me back to the party. We didn't talk for the remainder of it, but word probably got around as this is the first time I've met his extended family and they're without a doubt talking about me. There aren't words for what I felt when I saw him. Mm. I felt physical pain in my heart. Oh. Mm. The whole party, I just wanted to talk to him and ask him how he's been, ask him if he remembered us at all or his promise. 
Even though Ethan Ooh. and Noah have the same last name, I never thought they'd be related because their last name is very basic. Think Williams. They also live on the other side of the country. How am I supposed to be honest with my boyfriend about this? I'm not going to deny that after seeing Ethan, I definitely feel something. But I love Noah. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is a movie. This is literally the movie. That... Before seeing Ethan again, I was sure that Noah was the one I wanted to marry. I'm not so sure anymore. Girl! Would I be a bad person if I decided to not even mention it? I feel like that'd be easier. I don't even know how to... I don't know what to... Uh, know what you to want to us say. to give advice on this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. I feel like it's going to be a hard situation no matter it's what. It's a double yeah. Yeah. Sport, But if... At the end of the day, you have feelings for Ethan. I don't think you should go through with a relationship with Noah. I think even if you didn't pursue anything with Ethan at the moment, just be by yourself for a little bit and maybe it'll become clear who you want to spend your time with. Because the longer you stay with Noah and you don't pursue anything with Ethan, he's already on your mind. It's hurting your heart that you saw him and you just that's all you think about. Mm. I think that you should... It's just It's a situation that sucks because it's like, how how are they cousins? Like, that's literally just the yeah. Yeah. bad yeah, luck of the draw. But honestly, like, even if... Okay, just think about the optics of it all. Just think about what if she left Noah and went to Ethan, went you back to Ethan, that. and that. they're in the same family? And it's like, if I was if I was a family, a family member, like, looking in on this, yeah. that looks absolutely insane. You left... Like you guys separated, <clears throat> her and Ethan. Mm-hmm. I think that's the first. Yeah. Who's the first boyfriend? Yeah. They life happened and they ended up losing, com- getting out of touch with each other. Then later she finds Noah, and they get together. She ends up seeing Ethan again. She leaves Nathan and goes to Ethan. What a narrative that would be. For her to just leave him and go yeah. back. Noah. 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 Yeah. It's like, for her to leave yeah. Noah and, and go Ethan. and get back with Ethan. I don't even know what to say. I <sighs> I'm rarely speechless and I I I'm I can't come up with anything. I think um it's hard because like this person can watch us, you know, like <laughs> so I'm like, I don't want to just leave them with like, oh yeah, that's just yeah, it's yeah, tough. Yeah. Um my thing I think that you need to reconsider is, you know, you said that you love Noah, which is the current, correct? Mm-hmm. Make sure that it actually is like a romantic love and not a love for Noah. Um, yeah. Because I think that will a help you with the situation. But as far as the family goes, I think either way it was going to be messy. Like either. Sh- should she tell him? Should she tell Noah that? I think she has to tell Noah. Yeah. I think you should. I think like, if, yeah, the, I if think, she felt like that, like she, it seemed like her emotions were pretty big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It. Yeah. It's almost. Uh, if you it'll don't come up. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't, it's it's gonna come up eventually. Or like, it's gonna be like, yo, why are you always so weird at the family barbecues with yeah. Noah? Like, <laughs> what, you never make eye contact. Like <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you should probably. Cause it's gonna get messy from there. I think, I think like what you said. I think that she, it would be a good idea for her to tell Noah, because, oh man, if this had, if if seeing Ethan like prompted you to reevaluate your entire relationship, yep, then I think that you should really probably tell him. It's probably a good idea. It might be statistically significant. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I wouldn't agree with that is because the first love is like a special kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And just from living some years on this, on this little earth we've had, knowing that you, if you get back with an ex, you'll never recapture that magic you had when you had a relationship with Ingrid. Like, she could love Ethan. There was so many first things she had. Mm-hmm. Like she remembers all the stuff. If they got back together. I think statistically, it's not going to be successful. So yeah. you have to know that before I'm telling Noah I'm done. You have to know like, is this really viable with Ethan? Yeah. You loved Noah before this whole thing, but you saw your first love, the person you had your first kiss. You lost your virginity to. Like that's a connection that's really hard to get over. Usually, a lot of us were not trying to see that first love again because it would probably ruin a lot of people if they saw them. 
oh, that brings me back to when I was young and that feeling and that emotion and that felt. So I would definitely tell Noah, but I wouldn't be like, I saw Ethan, I feel these feelings, I need to yeah. jump Noah and get it. Like, let it sit. See what Noah says. See what Noah says, how Noah feels about it. Mm -hmm. If he hates it, <laughs> that might make your decision for you. Some people are toxic and like. Well, there's some feelings that I think she should work through herself. I don't think she needs to tell Noah everything that she's yeah, thinking. I wouldn't tell Noah that but, I'm like, yeah. I'm in love with you. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I think it should definitely be brought up and maybe even the consideration of being single for a while as you figure out the decision. Only I only say that because... Not saying that you should break up with Noah, but if you're like City said, if you're thinking about him this much, and it, and I guess I guess sitting with time, maybe it, it'll change. But if you're thinking about him this much, and you just have so much wonder, then maybe it's worth just being on your own for a little bit and e even pursuing the relationship as a friendship to see if there is like that spark still there, or if it's just a friendly thing. Could you do that realistically, though? I mean, if I'm thinking about somebody else, if it's my first love, no. That's what I'm like. What do you mean? Saying like to be single because I'm like you're already in a relationship with someone you love, and then you see another guy and you're like, to be actually mature and be like I'm going to be single I and not like try to pursue. For me one personally, of I know that I could couldn't that? because if I know it's my first love, I know it's my first love. We've spent let's say was it a decade? She said apart. Uh, yeah, how long was no, it? No, she's before? like 22. Oh, so it was I a think couple they, years. I th he went they to college. Broke up senior really? year, yeah, they so they were probably together for like a year or two. Yeah. Okay. So they were they were together like for four a couple years probably. They, went to they were there for a most, couple like, years, one or two yeah. years at the least. Okay, they were together for a couple years. If I'm if I'm being honest with myself, there's no way in hell I'm keeping everything kosher. No way because I, like in my mind, I know. Okay, we had this thing. It worked. It kind of fell off because I, I it was me that wasn't in a good space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what would happen if I wasn't in a good space during that time, That's like I am now? Yeah. That's the question. And so, I don't think realistically, I myself would be able to be like, yeah, we're, we're, just, we're just gonna be friends and we're we're not gonna do anything that friends wouldn't do. Or or it might not even be a decision because if you only found out on the family reunion, he lives on the other side of the country, he's gonna go back. Yeah, that's true. It's, yeah. Maybe it's not a thing. You live over here, he lives over here. So really, is there even a thing to figure out? I think you still have to evaluate your relationship because yes, going through that mind, but I'm like, but Maybe the decision is going to be made. We're in two different parts of our lives mm -hmm. now. Think about it too, though. Like, even if she's like, okay, if she goes with that standpoint, let's say she marries Noah. Yeah. She still has to see Ethan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't, <laughs> then don't get invited to the barbecues. Don't get invited to any of the family get togethers. Yeah. Oh. You're still going to see her. Even if it's like once a year, once a few, every few years. Yeah, I I think though. But time. I Not think for them. time will tell off. Y'all don't realize she's twenty two. Y'all yeah. don't realize what time does. I'm like, I remember being twenty two in my first love. I'm, I would get, I would break up with anybody to get back with that person. I'm thirty three now. I can't. I know who she is. I can't think about. It. I don't. There's nothing there. So it's yeah. like time is a thing. Twenty two. That's way too close to when they were dating. She just dated him. Four yeah. years ago. Yeah. yeah. It that's, was, still, that's close. It was in high school, too. Like, I feel like high school and cruises have kind of the same effect. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this man loves to talk about a cruise. <laughs> How the hell do we. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. How fast do people get in relationships in high school? Very fast. Very fast. How fast do they get in on cruises? You only got seven days. They get yeah. married and have kids on cruises yeah. within that seven it's days. Yeah, it's it's the and same thing. they get thing. divorced before they leave the boat. Yeah. It's the same exact thing. High school just puts you in an environment cultivated to make a relationship so you can make it really well. So you're probably getting the best parts of that relationship yeah. starting yeah. off. But now that you're an adult, you got stuff like bills to worry yeah. about. Yeah. You didn't have bills to worry about in high school. You have stuff like I don't know, like actually finding a career, thinking about children, Absolutely. all that yeah. stuff. You don't have all that stuff with Ethan. All you had was literally the perfect environment to make a relationship. Man, that was what a time that was. When I think <laughs> of like dating in high school, I think of like Kick and Uvu. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Kick. Do y'all remember <laughs> what? Kick and Uvu? Uh, that, that gives me the... Uh, kick, yeah. I hate that I Kick was kick. so gross. Kick always gave me like pedophilia vibes. Yeah, kick you didn't. You weren't up to no good if you were wild, on Kick. wild, wild west. Man, kids today will never know. Yeah. 
Even though, I think high school is more like Big Brother. I think and well, Big high school's like you said Big you weren't going to mention. That. I love Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. At the time of filming this, Big the, Brother the reunion just, just came out three days, or the premiere just came out three days ago. Yeah. So it's on Sam's mind. I like Big Do Brother. Do you still have your HOH robe? Yes, of course. I wear it every day. <laughs> I never let go. You don't think I'm wearing that thing? Because I am the head of my household. Okay, so what's the... I mean, I know we can all have different advice, but what I, is the I final advice I think we, all, we all agreed on telling Noah mm-hmm. at, that they had a relationship. and Not the full extent of like your yeah. feelings and stuff, but just saying, hey, heads up, I dated your cousin. He was like... Yeah. Because yeah. I think you, he deserves to know that. He was yeah. my first relationship. Yeah, yeah. And, and if... She does decide to pursue Noah still after this. Um, not saying. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I got to do one thing. <laughs> but it's on you, though. <laughs> we got to clear that up. Don't do not do not do whatever you do. We Be are like, not yeah, this licensed podcast therapists. Told us to do it. We're not <laughs> licensed therapists. Maybe go to therapy also and supplement. With it. You do you. We gave our hey, opinions. We just hope the best for you, though. We just Actually, so Dia is a professional, so whatever she says, I'm not. Goes. You can sue her for that. Sadia <laughs> 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 so is a legal, a licensed professional. Period. Um, <laughs> but I was going to say, too, uh, definitely tell them because the <laughs> amount of trust you can get after that, too. Like, yeah. It's a hard conversation, but who knows? It might. I mean, it might suck, but it might be good. Like, I honestly was just thinking about that. I feel like if my girlfriend were to come up to me and like were le- to legitimately sit me down and be like, "Hey, when we were at this family reunion. I saw my first love, and like when I saw them, like it was just it was it was really weird because we just have a relationship where we're very open with each other, yeah, and we share how we feel because honestly, for us, that is what builds trust because. Yeah. If she's telling me something that I know is something that's uncomfortable for her to talk yeah. about and it's kind of like makes the situation feel like like kind of awkward, then I know, okay, for whatever else, I'm going to trust what she says because she's taking the time out to be like, hey, this is how I feel. This was something that was kind of weird. Yeah. What What do you think about it? And I feel like once you put it out in the open, it makes it so much not of a secret. It makes it like, you're being very forthcoming and be like, "Hey, this is what was, this is what happened. Let's talk about it." Yeah. So I feel like her telling Noah would be beneficial, just so that she can get everything out in the air and she doesn't have to feel like, you know, I'm holding this secret in my back pocket. Like, yeah. oh, his cousin. You know, we used to have a thing. Now it makes it kind of like, ooh, scandal. You know what I mean? But yeah. if she were to the tell the family's him, talking about it. They're yeah. saying like family's whispering about. Well, she was saying the family's probably going to find out that that is oh, okay. Noah's I didn't know if they, girlfriend. Okay. And then maybe Ethan will hear that and be like, um, okay. But I'm sure Ethan's not going around and be like, that was my first love. <laughs> Who knows? And yeah. I even feel like okay, even enough. if they, like, if or when the family started talking and if they came up to knowing like, hey, did you know that she was dated uh, Ethan? He'd be like, yeah, she told me. We yeah. had a conversation about it. So it takes the, yeah. I think it takes the weight off of it. Yeah. Ethan's over here just like, man, <laughs> that was my first love. <laughs> we were talking about future plans like this next story. <laughs> I was just about to do one. <laughs> that was what my was just was. to do one. <laughs> And I will say this, OP, if you've already had that conversation, because by the time this episode comes out, it'll be a few weeks later. If you want to give an update. Oh, update. Yes, please. Oh, please. Update. Please. 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 Um, for Sam. For Sam. Yeah. Sam loves you. Sam. I do love you. Everyone who loves me, I love them right back. I'll tell you that right now. Especially if it's for an update. For an update? I'll do anything. I'll do anything for an update. All right, maybe don't throw yourself out don't like that. Don't say that. I'll do Sell anything. Yourself. Maddie. <laughs> Maddie, I'll do anything for an update. He said anything. <laughs> he just ends up on the street. <laughs> <laughs> like, How did you get here? It's for an I update. I was doing an Am I the Asshole update. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. asked me to go buy some I stuff. I sold my house for an update. <laughs> I needed those updates. <laughs> yeah, I needed an update. <laughs> I need it. I need, I need it. it. Am I the asshole for asking my boyfriend to have future plans? I, 31 female, and my boyfriend, 30 male, have been together for a year and a half. We have always had a long-distance relationship that has been working perfectly since the start. 
We see each other every other week, once a month, and so far it has been the best relationship I've ever been in. Mm. Now he's mm. planning to leave his country and come to live with me. He's worked in a huge corporation since six years ago. However, since we started dating, he's been trying unsuccessfully to change his job. He doesn't earn a lot of money, hates his job, and lives with his granny. Not paying rent or any expenses. On the other hand, I left my country to live in Europe two years ago to study, and I've been doing jobs outside of my field, such as being a waiter and a babysitter to be able to pay my rent and all of my expenses. I have a very low income, but have been managing to survive on my own. I do not get help from my family at all. Now that I finished my studies, I'm starting a new job in my own field, hoping to earn more and more with experience. He told me that he wants to quit his job and come to live with me using his savings. As my financial situation is not good, I feel scared about this decision. Mm, I would too. He's from a cheap country in Europe, and I live in one of the most expensive cities in the world. Ooh. He has a very flexible job, which he could work from anywhere in the world. I told him that it would be better if he stayed in his current job and moves in there and then quits until he finds a new job. He refuses, and he told me that he'd rather come here and work as a car wash worker or a waiter and then keep working for that company we started an argument about it there is no shame at all in working at a car wash but he has the chance to find something in his field which he'll earn more and due to my financial situation i will have to rely on him for many expenses that i cannot pay with the savings that i have for my past jobs the discussion escalated until reaching the further plans that we have as individuals i left my country to have better opportunities and create a more wealthy life I'm a very ambitious person. I want to be successful. I want to have a good life and a good financial stability. This doesn't mean that I'm a gold digger or I just want to be rich, but I do want to have financial freedom in some point of my near future, and I'm working on that. He, however, doesn't have any clear plan for his near or long future. He just mm -hmm. wants to stop working at his job and do other things that gives him a regular salary. I feel like this is kind of a red flag for me, but I'm not sure if I'm being the asshole or this shouldn't be something... Or this shouldn't be something very important. I asked him to tell me what his plans are, and he has none. This is the guy I'm planning to move in with here, and I feel his future <laughs> and his decisions at some point will affect my future as well. Am yeah. I the asshole? Girl, no. Mm -mm. Mm. No. Don't be mad for wanting something for yourself. And knowing where... Facts. Not knowing sure where exactly you want to go, but knowing I want to be better than what I am now. And you trying to set yourself up and set your life up so that you can meet that goal, so that you can be financially stable, so that you can do the things that you want to do, so that you can have the money to buy the things that you want to buy. I think times like this is when people talk about that, how it's important to be equally yoked with your partner. Mm -hmm. Because if you're someone that's like, okay, I have plan A, B, and C for what I want to have happen in my life, you cannot be with someone that's just like, not necessarily not be with someone, but be with someone that's like, okay, well, you know, not really sure what I want to do. Maybe I'm just going to kind of just do something to help me kind of float by. Will it work? Maybe. Will it not? Yeah. Maybe. You know, he, it sounded like he is the type to take a risk without really having a, ba like a backup plan because it really is what it seems like is she's his backup plan. So, like, if everything were, right. if she's going to hit the fan, he's going to fall back on her and be like, okay, well, you know, I, I work at a you. car wash, <laughs> yeah. you know, I followed you here, you know. Yeah. That's what I feel like is going to happen. So, girl, I, it might be a, it might be a trap. I hope not. Speaking as someone that's kind of in his shoes of not really having the most stable job, um, I would say... He definitely should not be moving in with her. I understand if he wants to move out of his grandma's house yeah. and he has enough money saved up and he thinks that those side jobs can support him not working that other job. Yeah. But I don't think that it's fair for him to be like, I know I don't make a lot of money and I'm trying to move to a different city and I want to move in with you. <laughs> like, I know with me and Brandon's situation, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be relying on his income. I would be like, I can't move in with yeah, you because yeah. I can't support yeah. myself. So why would I move in with you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, to split it. Have these. Yeah. Yeah. I think. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's happening. Okay. No. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Sam, no, look away from okay. me. Okay. It's the glasses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That hurt. No, that hurt. You're my cousin. The OP that was I watching is like, you're my I cousin. know. Yeah, literally. Like, literally what I've been saying him. this whole time. Drag him. Bully him a little bit yeah, more. Yeah. I love you, though, Sam. But. I come back with new glasses <laughs> next episode. Like, no, you just come back with shades. Yeah, like, <laughs> just <the> high tears. <laughs> tears are just streaming the whole episode. <laughs> no, I got two iPads. I'm like, I just poked them out. I'm like, I ain't wearing nothing. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I was going to say, uh, I feel like. Just by his actions, he's showing who he truly is. If you're able to live that recklessly on like for like life, <laughs> what else are you gonna live yeah. recklessly from? Like living together, it's yeah. like like that that's just wild to me. Like moving in with someone with no plan. In the most expensive city in Europe. In the most expensive and you she said he lives in a fairly cheaper country. So it's like You gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you have to do it. <laughs> and then yeah just he's showing his true color he's showing who he is believe him and do with that what you will well i was gonna say does it just show that maybe he's ignorant about stuff like that but he is 30 yeah but That's i mean like, sometimes it takes people a while to get on their feet but. yeah i'm like i don't want to denigrate him but i'm 100 percent on board with both of what you said with the equally yoked like he's showing you who he is like yeah, believe, I, believe who he is because at a certain point if you guys did continue this relationship and then you got mad at how he's acting you're like no this is how he's been acting you should have looked these are red flags mm -hmm. he's not he does not have the same ideals for you there are people in there who are like i'm just living life and you can find people who are like yeah, yeah we're just gonna we're not gonna we're plan gonna for things it, like things yeah. are just gonna happen and like and that's not for you that's not the kind of person you are so mm -hmm. read this sign Get out of there. Don't make a giant financial decision of moving in with him. Just Yeah, because it also seems like, at least from the way she was like describing everything, it seems like she's very type A. OP's very type A. Could Would you guys agree with that sentiment? It just seems like... Yeah, and it also just seems like... Very organized. Yeah, I mean, she yeah. has dreams her dream is just to like, I want to be able to do what I want to do. Like, yeah. yeah, that's the thing that a lot of people She wants do. financial freedom. But and she's working towards it. Yeah, she's working yeah. towards it, but she's also very driven to work towards yeah. it. So yeah. it's like, in a sense, you're more organized than he is. Right. And if you're like... I know they say like opposites attract, but like sometimes like organization and someone that's not organized either is going to take a lot of work to get through that too as well. Like, don't just look at just the situation i would say if you're feeling some type of way just about this situation you're probably feeling something deeper in the relationship oh, as sure. well yeah. so don't just take this as like a surface level thing just take a second to be like yo okay how is this person really operating in yeah. comparison to me right and does it work in comparison to me yeah because you always think about when you're in a relationship you really can realistically only change a very small part about the person. So whatever you're getting is the person you're going to get. You need to expect that. Mm -hmm. So if there are big things you're like, I do not yeah. like this about this person. I want them to change. That's a bad, that's a bad like way to go into a relationship because yeah. they're probably not going to change. You're going to be angry over time and mm -hmm. it's just going to cause you a resentment. Yep. Yeah. You're going to resent him. Like uh -huh. just realize this is the person I'm dating. Am I comfortable with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if she's, it doesn't sound like she's comfortable with it. Move on. Yeah. You look like you need to get the next ticket out of there. Or no, I mean, she's staying. I think oh. she was happy in there. He was trying to get. In He's there, like, I'm so. trying to move. D don't what give him a ticket they're in. Long, they're already yeah. long. No, distance. literally, don't give him a ticket in. Because <laughs> he's, he's gonna come up to her like, "Are we even dating?" Like our next story. <laughs> 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 He's gonna transition before you. Yes! <laughs> That's what I call yeah, bars. That right was there. bars. That was straight Let bars. Let her cook. Wow. Okay, so the title is Are We Dating or Not? Brandon. <sighs> oh my God. Maddie wrote this. I'm on the. This yep, this is from three years ago. This is from Maddie Mad. <laughs> right now, I'm looking at Maddie the Mad Matterson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like staring yeah. at me. I'm like, oh, I think you actually have to answer. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, She's we forcing think. you to actually answer right now. <laughs> okay. Are we dating or not? I, 22 female, started talking to my high school boyfriend again back in April, 23 male. 
We pretty much stayed close even after we broke up in high school. In April, we decided where we wanted to see where things could go again. Mm -hmm. All throughout May and June, we pretty much hung out two to three times a week. Started in July. He pretty much stayed over every weekend at my house except mm -hmm. for one weekend. Mm -hmm. We have sex and do everything a oh. couple does. Mm. He's, been helping me. <laughs> <laughs> He's been helping me with my almost three-year-old daughter. He was helping me before we even started working on things again. My question is, though, he hasn't asked me out, so is it safe to assume that we are dating? <laughs> Maddie. Or, or should I ask him what's up? I feel like I've been waiting for him to ask me out. But then again, people are like, hey, he probably assumes y'all are together already. Oh, my God. Also, he made it pretty clear he isn't having sex with anyone else and that I'm the only one. I'm going to check out the stories. <laughs> <laughs> it's from six days ago. Yeah, I wouldn't bring yeah. up something like that. Okay. <laughs> The so, way, the way so she's looking at me, it's like, it's like all over again. It's like. so weird. She's going back to that. I'm just in the passenger seat. You're in the driver's seat, and I'm saying so. So wait, how long have at? they been back to like a couple of months? <clears throat> we have to get like the they, context now. They start in April. They started. They started in May. In June. July, they stayed over. And starting in July, he stayed over pretty much every weekend except for one, and he helps take care of her daughter. Actually, we brought it up. Yeah, we got to get context. Your situation gotta... is a good situation because I think people look at it differently. I see your side completely, and I see his side of not want, not like. Yeah, I thought. I thought <laughs> we were. We but also, to... you're oh, like, yeah. we so don't my say question it. is, what is it with men? Like more times than not, where you guys just will not like communicate yeah or ask, communicate like, or define like, the relationship. define the relationship just put the hammer down and be like hey make it quite clear that hey you know i want you to be we my are, girlfriend we already are yeah okay there okay yeah there, i think the it, there's layers to over. it there's layers to it <laughs> there's layers to it and there's it it's down. different for person to person mm -hmm. so i'll put myself as the sacrificial lamb. Because yeah. <laughs> Maddie is giving me the so death stare as if it's happening all over <laughs> again. He already said it. I already said it. You guys are three and a half years ago. You, you guys are. Wait, do you have to re up every year? Like, we're still dating. Yeah, he's five years behind. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, okay. So it's like, all right. So boom, you get me. You know? Yes, boom. <laughs> All this lead up. We have been flirting. We've been friends. I think I was counting the other day. It's like been 10 plus years. Like, I, I want to say, I don't even want to do the math right now. I was probably, we were probably like 13, 14 13. when we first met. Yeah, when we first met. And we on and off had liked each other ever since then. <laughs> but like way later. But way we've later. We've been friends for a really long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been friends for a really long time. But like, I would have moments where I'm like, <laughs> not even. <laughs> Maddie, uh, <laughs> Maddie kind of got me. Okay. <laughs> and and then, then I would have moments where I'm like, Brandon, <laughs> like oh, wow. she would. I was hearing about him. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I was hearing about him. So, like, what do you guys think about Brandon? Like, <laughs> like kind of sucks. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I'm a menace to society. Yeah. But okay, yeah. So then, finally, boom, bam. It, it comes a year. It comes a time where we're both on the same page. At the same time. The same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, I think I like Maddie. Maddie's like, yo, I think I like Brandon. And I'm like, okay, cool. Few events happen. We get on this cruise, right? I am. You're really giving all the details. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I, I got to set the story up. Jeez. So it's like you see all this backstory of this back and forth. And then it's finally like, oh, yeah, I'm coming together. I'm coming to terms with the fact that I really do want to be with her. And. Once I have this conversation, we'll see if we're on the same page. Yeah. So finally, we're on the cruise, blah, blah, blah. We're going through it. And I am petrified. I am petrified to ask her if she even likes me. I'm so scared. And I'm like, you know what? Just do it. And I do it at the weirdest time in the weirdest place. The we're already naturally <laughs> flirting. So we're it's naturally giving him flirting. the greenest light in the world. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't let this green light go past. I need to actually take the opportunity to do this. Yeah, yeah. And so we're at the edge of the, no, we're at the front of the ship. It's and really windy. It's really windy. She's holding on <laughs> and to I'm me. And I'm like, I'm oh, scared. Are, I'm you like, are you like this? And 
No, I was like, oh. no, she's can like, you hold I'm a king of the world. Can Dude, you hold Maddie, me? Maddie, you dirty dog. I think it was me and Jazz that were narrating. We were on the deck above you guys watching. Like, oh, literally oh, narrating like, what oh, would no, be no. going on. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this exact moment. because Oh, God. Okay, tell the story. <laughs> yeah. So, in my head, I'm like, okay, from up to this point, it's clear that she likes me. It's clear that I like her. Up to this point, anything I say after this conversation, if it goes south, okay, this is going to be the awkwardest setup ever. But if it goes good, then we're a thing. But where are you thinking this? In my head. In your head. Yeah, yeah. But okay, so then I physically ask her. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> I think I, I I like you. And I was just like, I'm, I'm going to just say, I like you. Do you like me back? And I was like... Yeah, no, I no, really you weren't. Like no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, no, yeah, no, was, no. I gotta add the context. She said, "Oh, we're having this conversation." Didn't look at me in the eyes. What the <laughs> heck? No. I was really okay. Okay, she okay. Was, okay. Oh, so let me wow, add some conversation. I'm back on his side now. <laughs> I wasn't even privy to this okay, information. Right, yeah. So, oh. so we were doing the thing when we were on the boat, and I was actually genuinely scared of the wind. I was like, "Why is it so strong?" Yeah, I learned later strong. on that cruise boats they be zooming at they night zooming. when it's dark and nobody's <laughs> over there. So I was legit like burrowed into Brandon, and then we were still like holding each other after like we basically got to the Lido deck, and so we're kind of by the pool, and he was like, "Do you like me? Because I like you," and I just like came out of like his hands and i was like oh we're having this because i'm like we've been flirting for so long then don't get mad at the man for finally saying something you didn't have to say that's a comment that did not have to be said (laughs) she was was nervous i was really nervous because i was like (laughs) i would have never ever had the courage to ever express my feelings to you which is why anytime i ever saw you flirting with another girl i would just get annoyed and walk away (laughs) especially on that cruise because uh you know he would be like, oh, yeah. hey. And I'm like, dang, are you kidding? That's crazy. <laughs> That's my man. That's your but I'll older. never tell yeah. him. He doesn't know. So it's know. definitely not fair to him. <laughs> he that doesn't I know, but never I express know. those feelings. But I was like, I'm just trying to outwardly. Like, I was doing it naturally. I wasn't purposely trying to do it. But I'm like, I'm very comfortable with you. So if I am scared of this wind, I'm going to, like, lean into you and, yeah, like, have you, you hold me. Yeah, you will. And I don't think anything weird about it because I like it. And then, so that's when I was like, oh, we're having this conversation. Because I'm like, you, you're you the one that had the courage to bring it up because I would have never been brave enough to do it. And so that's when I was like, yeah, I was really nervous. I was like shaking. I was like, I need. So we walked up to like this, like the second deck and we sat down. We talked. And we talked. And yeah, I was too nervous to look at him <laughs> for a while. And then he was like, can you look at me, please? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so sorry. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I do like you. I like you. Because because when I said, can we, I was like, we're having this conversation. I just like started leading him up the stairs. I didn't answer after he said that I like you. you. And so he was like, do you, <laughs> he was like, he was like, do you like, do you like me? And I was like, yeah, I like you. And he was like, oh, thank God. Because he thought it was a different conversation. Yeah. Like, yeah, let me take me alone. you. She pushes you off the boat. <laughs> I don't want to have this you, conversation. You'll want to sit down for this. Yeah, We're just leave. friends. <laughs> I love how this has kind of yeah. turned into our own. I know. Very, I was like, personal you're giving, all, all, the, yeah. <laughs> giving all the details. Wait. I, so, I, yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to get there. But t- you said something that was very important. You said, I wouldn't have the courage to. Right. So, for me... Me taking that first step and like being like, okay, this is me stepping out on a limb. I'm 95% sure, but there's still that other percentage where it's like it could go completely south. And so it was like that whole like when when the answer wasn't being like said and then I was like, okay, so do you like me back? (laughs) Like it was like, I don't know. I feel like jumping through all those hoops just to get to that point at least in my head was like enough like we're together like we've had all this build up for all the that stuff i talked about earlier up until this point and it's like do you like me it's it's confirmed we're already friends and it's like well we're a thing like there's nothing to necessarily explore see for me i was just gonna say this yeah when you ask somebody to get married do you just like live with them forever and like start a family and then you're like that's a different thing no, it's like ma- the ma- first step of 
a relationship. No, I because, think the whole getting together is a different thing than getting. That's a whole different thing, right? But there requires communication from the beginning of like, listen. It's, no, here, here, here's my thing. Okay, I'm so on the in, in, in that in that phase, so you guys both like each other. You guys are in those couple weeks. If it somehow did go south, and you're like, no, I actually don't like him. Would you have broken up with him? No, because we weren't together at that point. What which would you was have the done? Point. No, what would you have done if you didn't like him? Um, I would just tell him. You would tell him, and that's breaking up. You're no. like, hey, I don't like you. Talking anymore. stage is not right? dating. If it, okay, this that's, is no, this is talking a, y'all were not in a talking not, stage. That was not. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. That's not a talking so stage. Had. Y'all were not in a talking stage when that happened. That's not You're a talking not, stage. Why are you defining no, our relationship? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, talking stage is different. Talking's like, I'm getting to know you. This blah, is blah, blah. What you I guys was. like each other. Th- this no, is no, different. No, 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 no. This is what I think. No, this is different. Here's my theory. Yeah, here's the deal. <laughs> I'm in <Here's> my theory. <laughs> they had this slow burn for years. Yeah. This was y'all. When I tell you this drug out for years, we were on the edge of our seats for years. Will trying they? To get won't the, they? Will, will they? Won't, won't they? they? For years, it was timing. Like B would be ready. Mad wasn't. Mad would be ready. B wasn't. And this is why I think you asking would be significant because you guys are at a point where it's like. Does he like me? Does he like how, you're trying to figure out if you guys like each other? Mm. Like you guys are kind of flirting with each other only to test the waters to see will they like me or not? So now you're going to ask, "Hey, do you like me?" Now you're confirming, "Hey, Matt, do you like me?" She says, "Yes." So now I'm confirming that we both have mutual we both like each other. So now to me, now I if if we're proceeding now I'm going to be able to more openly flirt with you. Like th- to me, that's the start of kind of the talking stage where Thank no. you. now we no <laughs> le- le- where you guys can openly flirt because you both you without embarrassment because you guys have both claimed that you guys like each other. So here's why I think that you asking her out is so important. One because it was a slow burn for years, and two because you. If this was something that has gone on for years, mm-hmm. you know, you asked her, hey, do you like me? I like you. Just because we like each other, what does that mean? What does me liking you and you liking me mean? Because talking about the last story, are we equally yoked to be together? We go together now? Is is that what that means? Yeah. Because I, if you want to have it. if you want to have <laughs> access to me. I get it then I need some definition because to have act, not everybody just has access to me, whether I talk to you or not, like my partner is who's going to have that, that kind of exposure and access to me. Someone that I'm talking to does not. So I think that's where that, that's the difference between like, that's the significance of you actually asking her. Cause you're like, Hey girl, I like you for real. You want to be my girlfriend? You, you you trying to go together for real? I think that's why it's more significant. Yeah, I I I, I get the, I get that standpoint. That does make sense. Yeah, it makes it. My thing is, I guess it was just it's since men are so objective, you know, it's like in that moment, like <laughs> literally when yeah. I was like, "Hey, I like you. Do you like me?" And in my head, I'm like, "Okay, well." First of all, I wasn't in enough relationships to know communication, yeah. for one. So there's that. But then, two, it's like I'm thinking objective base. Okay, we've solidified that we like each other. I don't necessarily have everything about communication all down packed, but I'm like, this is who I want to pursue. Yeah. Any other person in the world does not mean anything to me mm-hmm. at that point. As I'm like, I am solely... And it, I mean, that's how it goes for everyone. But it's like that that night after I was like, oh, it's, it's confirmed. Delete a Tinder, delete a Bumble. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I went as far as to delete the profiles first. I was like, I don't want to even people thinking yeah. like there was a chance. No, everything. Um, yeah, because I was swiping at that time and I saw your <laughs> profile disappear. I'm like, <laughs> uh, I can't still swipe anymore. My cousin. Where'd he go? But so, it's like so. A few weeks ago, 
you had brought up how it's illegal to date family in Nebraska, and now this happens. <laughs> okay. He's shameless. Yeah. All right. Sin vergüenza. For those Spanish speakers out there, you know what I said. Oh. Can I mention something that's not about us yeah. and not about OP either? Because so we should get back. But I think the other reason why it's important for me to establish that there is a relationship, even if in your head there is a relationship, mm-hmm. it hasn't been expressed to me that hey, we're past the talking phase, and now like we're dating. <laughs> Anyway, I thought it was so long. I'm like, that's the talking thing. Honestly, I get that. (laughs) There's some guys that kind of like that openness. Not saying that this is OP, because he seems very Mm -hmm. committed to her. And it it seems like a situation is very similar to us. I don't, I mean, I think maybe that she should just bring up the conversation of like, listen, like, I've seen all the stuff that you do. I know that you express that you don't have interest in anyone else, but like, just to confirm, like, we're together now, you know? But there are some men and probably women that like the fact that it's like oh they love that no communication because yeah. when the girl is like what are we he's like we, we're just talking or if something and happens he's with like a bunch of you other can people push yeah, those boundaries. yeah you got like i got with someone else you're like oh yeah we never talked about it. yeah and yeah, so I like when that. you're like i'm hurt by this like you hurt me yeah. i found out you're talking to somebody else he's like we were never together yeah right. and it's like but we were doing everything like you know happens yeah, in these we, stories yeah. but i'm again i'm not saying that's op i, I think op op's like yeah, he's well, taking man care of seems a child. Very committed. Yeah. yeah. Then my only thing is, I'm I. Sadia completely convinced me. Maddie <laughs> fully convinced me. I get that. He messed up. But <laughs> I don't. But actually, I don't think, I don't he, think he messed up. I, I think, think I'm like, up. if you feel like you needed to be fine, you bring it up. I don't think it's. Sometimes there is this. We're all supposed to be like all equal now, but then men are still supposed to do the initiation. They're still supposed to say where we're doing. I'm like, if you feel like we need to have the conversation, you bring it up because you're feeling it. Because I do think some of what Brandon was saying is true too. Like we are objective and some of us don't feel the need. We might not have the communication skills. So if you feel it, let's bring it up and we're going to, you see how it reacts. He should react. like, oh yeah, we are. I thought we were, but yeah, we're dating. Yeah, I think I, I think agree. So that's exactly what I happened. Agree with that. Yeah. yeah, but not in a passive aggressive. Yeah, not in a passive like aggressive. Because I, yeah. I was like, okay, so this is like the second date we've been on in like a week. I agree. Yeah. I, think, I think it can't be true that like, I thought we were already, and I was like, you didn't ask me, and he was like, do you want to be my girlfriend? I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think like half of my relationships were like that, where they're like, so what are we? And I'm like. I know I've said I thought we were dating. I'm like, well, you didn't ask me. Yeah. Do you want to be my girlfriend? It was literally that exact conversation. I don't know. It's just such a special moment when I the person like, asks. You're like, yeah. I do see it. Sam, what you're saying, I do see it. Because yeah. sometimes you really just like <laughs> naturally just fall into that role where it's just like, well, homeboys go into her house. He's taking care of the kid. He's like, yeah. I'm like yeah. a stepdad right yeah. now. And she's like, are we dating? He's like, so I'm, like, I'm his stepdad. I'm 100%, but I'm 100%. I'm like, yeah, you got to have it be clear. Because yeah. Yeah. there are people who love that. They're like, yeah. we never talked about it. So I'm out here. And I'm getting all the benefits of being with you because you kind of think we are. Yeah. That was good. This was a good story. That was good. And I love I to hear the whole. I love to hear the whole relationship saga. Yeah. <laughs> she said I now, Sadia so has to tell buttons. us what it looked like looking down below. What? What? You said you saw them oh, on the yeah, front of the were, boat. I did not know this. Yeah. You were, yes. Yes. Where were you what? Yeah, yeah, I, I never knew I, that part. I, I think it was me. I think I was with Jazz. We were on the deck above you guys. How did you guys know that we had disappeared at because i don't think we told you you know me and jazz we <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the smartest it was that ones night. Ever, yeah. so yeah so we um we were walking around and i think we stumbled upon you guys <laughs> and of course we're gonna sit there and watch <laughs> <laughs> like creepers we watched <laughs> and i remember sitting there talking like oh my god what do you think they're going to do because we were trying to get you guys together that whole that whole trip all uh, right yeah and we're like, oh my god! Like, are they I've gonna kiss? That. Like, what's <laughs> well, gonna I didn't happen? Know it either, but yeah, we were working hard in the shadows. And we're like, what's gonna happen? And so then, all of a sudden, I just see B reach his arm out to pull Maddie in, oh. and then me and Jeff, ah! <laughs> like, we're screaming, like, oh my god, oh my god! I thought you guys were gonna kiss that night, but you didn't. Not that we saw. Mm. Was we done in the do- oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was too nervous to kiss him, so he, of course, would have kissed me that night. But I'm like. I mean, we're we're moving so fast. That was such a moment. 
my head. We were already dating. It was so <laughs> slow. <laughs> like, this is the slowest you can go, Maddie. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Absorbent and porous and something is he. Absorbent and yellow and porous oh, is he. Oh, absorbent and yellow and porous is he. SpongeBob SquarePants. So things are nothing. If nautical nonsense, nonsense is something you wish. SpongeBob SquarePants. That's what about a duck and a frog like a fish? SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. So we will see you guys next week. Oh, we ended up leaving? talking a little bit too much this episode, much. so it'll probably still be around an hour, but maybe a little bit less stories. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed the talking and. Just the chit chattiness of us. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the relationship saga. That means you have to keep it in. Yeah, I hope you keep the relationship saga. It was fun. It was juicy. We had fun. It was very juicy. So we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.